Good morning, beautiful people! Good morning, guys! We are in Sicily and today we will visit Taormina. But first, uh, we will show you how we get here. close to the, the port. We're trying to figure out where to go. Head northeast on Via Stazione Barco out of Etsy. Okay, you can pay with the card, you can pay in cash and you can pay with the telepass that is this system that we have in Italy. Sicily is an island so we need to take a ferry. There are different operators that you can choose. 39 euro. People with a bigger motorhome or camper they pay more but it's so, so much more. So 39 is a one-way ticket. If you return back to Calabria in one day, it costs less. We chose Caronte because it's possible to pay with the telepass. You just go and then you pay with the credit card that is connected to this device. You don't need to stop, you don't need to go and buy the ticket and exit from the car. So it's safer in this moment and it's, it's really quick. When you understand where to go, then it's quick. Are you excited? Yes. Da, 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 da. So it's not the first time for Luca and I in Sicily. I only came here to Sicily to work. Uh, okay. So I couldn't visit or explore. I just went to Palermo, to Taormina, yeah. to a few places. Uh, so. This is the ferry. Yes. This is one of the ferries because you have, you see, I traghetti. It says on the left. Traghetto, traghetto means ferry. You start from Villa San Giovanni and you arrive in Messina. Here you go. But first, coffee. I didn't use my mocha this morning because we, we were so excited, we want to take the ferry as soon as possible. So I just stopped. We bought the coffee and two croissants and now we are going to Sicily. Our ferry is down there. Wow, it's huge. Elio. Elio means sun. I was expecting as I said in the previous video that Sicily was more distant but it's actually it's like being in a lake and you can see Messina just on the other side super close I think it will be about 30-40 minutes the, the ferry there was a big debate in Italy whether or not build a bridge that connects Calabria to Sicily but this never happened Telepass they stop us to say that the telepass it made an error I don't know a calculation error so then we need to pay more of course so <laughs> if you remember there was a car here now there is a truck a big truck so we're paying 62 not 39 62 and they said we don't care I say but this van is really small we cannot pay like a big truck they say can we pay like a camper? Because the camper, the vans, like camper, camper, RVs, they are paying less. 40 and something. And say, no, no, you need to pay this amount. And we say, you know, whatever. So we miss the ferry. Now we wait 30 minutes and another ferry arrives. Yeah, this day is not starting uh, well. It's not a good beginning, but we are positive. And I know that the day will be much much more better than the start of the the morning let's hope let's, <laughs> let's hope. hope Here we are. Here we go. We are in Sicily. 
Sicily officially. We made it to Sicily. Direction? Unknown. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. stop in Sicily would be Taormina. This one is the Isola Bella that literally means the beautiful island. We were lucky enough to find a spot here in this parking place just really close to the city center of Taromina. If you are not so lucky, you have another option. Here, you can take the gondola that from the seaside will take you to the center of Taromina. The parking is pretty expensive. It's 2 euro, 3 euro an hour. And if you are more than 1 meter 90 high, it's impossible to park in this kind of garage parking. You need to, to park outside. Ciao Luigi! If you have traveled to Sicily, you have likely seen on flags, ceramics and souvenirs a strange looking representation of a female head with three legs attached to it, flags to form a triangle. That's the symbol of Sicily adopted by the island many centuries ago, when it was dominated by the Greeks, now used in the official Sicilian flag. The symbol is known as Trinacria, a Greek word that means three-pointed. It recalls the shape of the island, which resembles a triangle. Trinacria was the earliest known name of the island of Sicily. In the past, it was customary to place a Trinacria behind the home's door as a symbol of protection for the house. The Medusa would have turned to stone whoever wanted to hurt the family living inside. The three legs represent the three capes of the island of Sicily, Peloro, northeast, Passero, south, and Lilibeo, west. We're going to visit the ancient Greek theater in Taormina. As you can see, the line is pretty long. cost of the ticket is 10 euro per person without a guide. If you want a private guide you pay 11.50 per person. This is one of the most beautiful ancient Greek theater because you have the, the view of the sea. The Greek theater of Taormina is the most fascinating historical monument of the Pearl of the Ionian Sea. It is one of the world's most popular tourist attractions, so that Johann Wolfgang Goethe, in his famous Journey to Italy, wrote, No theatre audience has never had such a sight in front of him, and it's totally true. The Greek Roman theatre is divided into three parts, the scene, the orchestra and the auditorium. The scene which is in front of the auditorium is the place where the actors acted. The auditorium is formed by a series of steps starting from the bottom and climbing upward, spreading up to the summit where habitually spectators sat. The orchestra is the lowest level of the whole theatre. This space was intended for musicians who played during the performances. Dug directly in the hard rock of Mount Tauro in the 3rd century before Christ, it could accommodate thousands of sitting spectators. It is known that the Greeks' architects 
used to build their most important buildings as if nature could be part of them. So the natural scenery was integrated with the architecture of the theater, like light and air insinuated between the columns. To allow the construction was necessary to remove manually from the mountain over 100,000 cubic meters of rock. The Greek theater of Taormina, who was born to accommodate dramatic performances or musical, it was transformed during the Roman times to make room for games and gladiatorial battles. I always got emotional when I am inside a place with so much history. I decided that I want to become an actress because I fell in love with the Greek theater. And in these images you can see how it was. Since we are on the seaside and it's lunchtime, it's a must to stop to eat some fresh fish. Seafood time! <laughs> what do you have there, Sara? I have a mix of raw fish, fresh raw fish, some shrimps, calamari. This is a kind of spatula, spatula is said. Of course we are in Sicily, so we have some orange and some fresh lemon. What do we have here? Mm, fresh pasta with a lot of seafood. Uh, Mix. Pasta alla pescatora. Yes. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Delicious. 30 euro for this great delicious lunch, fresh fish in Sicily. And now after Taormina, after arriving in Sicily, after this lunch, we are going back to our van Luigi. We are driving south, looking for a place where to enjoy our afternoon, but looking on the map, we just discovered that we are really close to a place, to a famous castle that we would like to see. Unfortunately, this castle is closed during this season, but we will have a look with a drone. This is Castle of the Slaves, Castello degli Schiavi, a rural Sicilian Baroque jewel located in Fiume Freddo di Sicilia. This castle is also known as the Godfather Villa because it was used by the director Francis Ford Coppola as Michael Corleone's home in the Godfather film trilogy and here was shot one of the most famous and memorable scenes of the film, the murder of Apollonia by a car bomb. A lot of you guys have been mentioning that I look like Apollonia, the actress that is playing the role of Michael Corleone's first wife in Il Padrino and the Godfather movie. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Actually, Luke and I, it seems that we have a lot of doppelgangers, famous doppelgangers, so I would like to play a game with you. I will put here some pictures and you will decide our double, our doppelganger. Please comment below. Wow, the color of the water always amazed me. We just move a little bit from all the seaweed and we, here we are. Look at this water. Wow. 
Happy October! Happy October! Your turn! My turn? Yeah! <laughs> Do you want to go underwater? <laughs> Let's go underwater! Tell me, how is to be inside the sea without long hair? Fantastic! <laughs> I love it! And now it's time for a shower! And while we were showering, just here on the coast in Sicily, we spot the biggest sailing yacht in the world. It costs 450 millions of dollars. It was designed by Philip Stark for a billionaire, a Russian billionaire, Andrei Melnichenko. It is 142 meters long and 56 people are working on the yacht. And here is where we will let you go for this video, beautiful people. But stay with us because this is just the beginning of our Sicilian adventure. Yes, uh, so stay tuned because uh, we will show you a lot of beautiful places. Uh, the Italian words for today's video are destra, right, sinistra, left, dritto, straight, destra, Right, sinistra, left, dritto, straight. We love you guys, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video of this Italian van life series with Liu. And please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's super important to us, that it means a lot to us. We love you, beautiful people. Remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao, see you in the next one. Ciao! Now the sun will shine